Wowie zowie, Comcast capitulates. Who's winning the latest race for eyeballs in internet video? Plus, Hangout, no, Google Hangout in our exclusive New Media, New Marketing Report. Stand by for the TV news. This is the TVnews.tv, brought to you by CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights. One location, two conferences, one price to access both. For registration and information, visit ctamconferences.com. Welcome to the TVnews.tv. I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington. It's Tuesday, August 21st, and here's the lead. After holding out as long as they dared in not obeying an outright FCC demand, Comcast has finally announced that beginning September 7th, they will begin moving Tennis Channel to a lower tier, equal to that of their own sports nets. Now this has been a long and bitterly fought campaign on both sides, but Tennis Channel has been the victor in every turn in convincing the FCC that Comcast has discriminated against the independent sports net in putting it on a more expensive tier than its own sports nets. So for now, barring any kind of reversal on appeal, it looks like it's game, set, and match tennis channel. So you ask, who's winning the race for most eyeballs in internet video these days? Well, according to Comscore data for July, it's Google, YouTube, far and away being the leader. But there's been a changing of the guard for number two. And now number two belongs to Facebook, who chalked up more unique viewers in July than former number two, Yahoo, and they now drop to number three. But Facebook is well below Yahoo in both number of videos delivered and time spent viewing. Well, available every Tuesday is new media guru John Leland, and in this edition of the New Media New Marketing Report, John talks about hanging out in top traditional and new media publisher, Google Hangouts. Thanks, Jeff, and it's always good to hang out with you on our New Media New Marketing Tuesdays. I do want to talk about Google Hangouts, but I want to talk about them in the context of the new Huffington Post live video channel. They're doing 12 hours a day, uh, eight of it originating in New York, four of it originating in Los Angeles. And even though it's an internet-based video programming play, if you will, uh, it is coming from one of the major destination websites. And I think it is very comparable to a cable news network. It obviously is a lot of conversation where Google, inter Google Hangouts come into it is they're using this really easy to use free technology from Google called Hangouts to add a video screen on the set that can have any number of participants from anywhere in the world in an interactive video switchable uh, you know, conversation. Also on the page itself, they not only have a live chat stream, you can have Twitter tweets that go right from the page and show up in the column. And you can also make video comments. I haven't seen a lot of video comments so far, but the quality of the program in some ways I think is more interesting than cable news and in other ways is kind of more fragmented and all over the place. But for sure it is more conversational and to me much more engaging than any cable news network can ever be. So I think that HuffPost Live is really an internet video programming play that's worth watching. Uh, it underscores the way that advertising dollars are moving into social media with a much more socially interactive uh, full-time 12 hours a day and then they're replaying highlights at other hours. You can literally click on what programs are coming up. Definitely worth checking out. HuffPost Live uh, and it's, a, it's not a cable network, it's an internet video channel, but it's the kind of thing that will compete and make cable networks, uh, you know, fight for their lives. The New Media New Marketing Report is brought to you by ComBridges. Website design, internet marketing, and social marketing strategies. Visit them at ComBridges.com. 
Available every Wednesday, all rise for media legal analyst Gwendolyn Lindsay Jackson and our exclusive judge and jury report. Hey, have you visited the all new, redesigned, easier access CTAM website? Well, you can have a look by heading over to CTAM.com. If you'd like to reach the TV industry with your message, become an advertiser right here on the TV News. Now to get the ball rolling, just email us at advertise at the TV news TV. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day.